Yo guys, so if you're looking for a free Windows alternative, then you should check out React OS. So React OS is an open source and free operating system designed to be compatible with programs written for Windows. Now development on this operating system began way back in 1996, and at the time it was intended to be a Windows 95 clone, just free and open source. These developers don't have the source code in front of them. It's not like they're looking at the Windows source code and able to copy directly from that. So in some sense, they're basically reverse engineering Windows to make it work within its own operating system. So right now, React OS is an alpha stage. That means that you're not going to expect a lot of compatibility. Some basic games and apps do work on React OS. I find the compatibility to be equivalent to Windows XP, so whatever works on Windows XP will generally work on React OS. Now, with that said, don't expect Steam or anything else to run on this. Like I said, it's still alpha and there's still a lot of work to be done. And also, React OS is kind of a hit and miss when you actually try to use it on actual hardware. So for best results, you should run this within a VM. So guys, let's take a look at React OS. Okay guys, so let's take a look at using React OS. So I'm gonna run React OS in VirtualBox. Now React OS doesn't really work on actual hardware. Well, it does, but it's not too much, it's not a high level compatibility for actual hardware. So for best results, you're gonna to wanna to run React OS within VirtualBox. So let's go and create a new virtual machine. I'm gonna call this React. The type Linux, and we can match it to Ubuntu 64 bits. For memory, let's do 4096, uh, new virtual disk image, VDI, dynamically allocated, React OS. I'm just going to make sure it goes in my media development virtual box. Create. Okay, awesome. Now let's go into settings, go into system, processor, make that two processors. There we go, dual core. Let's go to display, maximum video memory. Go into the, uh, let's add an optical drive. So I'm gonna choose the ISO. Uh, let's see if I can find this. There we go, React 48. All right, so perfect. And then let's go down to network, change this to bridged, and we are good. <clears throat> so we have all that set up. Let's go and start up React OS. And let me just scale this up so I can see it. Scale mode. Okay, switch. Here we go. All right, awesome. So I'm going to do English. Enter to install. Display. Let's create some maximum display just so I can see what I'm doing. That would be better. English keyboard, ACPI processor, that's perfect. All right, now let's go to accept these device settings, just space, quick format, and React OS. There we go. So, quickly just ran through the setup for React OS. Okay, so React OS, here we go. And awesome, we're booting up to React OS. Okay, so set up wizard. So one thing you notice about this, like I said, this looks very much like Windows. It is really almost an exact replica, which is awesome. It's very home and it feels very familiar. Okay, so we can customize local settings, customize keyboard layout, we'll keep that the same. Uh, name, let's put this Dave, there we go. Next, computer name. Next, date and time. I'm actually on Eastern time. That doesn't matter too much. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> We're inside React OS. So this looks very much like Windows, and that's what I like. It's very familiar. Like I said, this is basically a free version of Windows, a free alternative, which is awesome. So just going around here, we go to the React Explorer. Like I said, a very Windows-like setup, which is awesome. Logo disk C, documents and settings. We can go there. Um, all users. So, you know, this kind of really reminds me of like Windows uh, 98, Windows 2000 even, um, or maybe an even old school Windows XP. Uh, this definitely reminds me of that. So you have all that set up, all your documents, 
and let's just go down here and start and as I should say the performance is mostly smooth now there is a little bit lag but that's probably just through the uh, VM emulation and not necessarily through uh, react OS uh, let's see we have games ministry of tools accessories uh, we have the normal command prompt. So this opens up command prompt and it uses the same window style. So dir to get the uh, directory listing. Um, let's go to application manager. So uh, we do have to connect to check our internet connection. So figure out the issue. So you have to change the network adapter, make sure it's on NAT, then go to adapter type and change it to PC fast, PC net faster. Okay, let's open a command prompt. Let's see this time we have internet. So I'm going to go here. Let's go to ping google.com. Awesome, we have internet now. Great, so that fixed the internet issue. So let's go back to the application manager. And so this is kind of, I guess, the equivalent of Ubuntu Software Center. So let's see what we have. Um, I actually just want a basic browser. So let's go to... Uh, let's see. Let me just search browser. See what comes up. Okay, there we go. So we had to update the database. Available for installation. Let's go to Firefox uh, 48. Here we go. And let's go to install. Cool. We got Firefox up and running. So I actually want to see, can I see my RAM usage with this? I wonder if, uh, let's see, does control shift escape work in this? It does. All right. So just like Windows, we have processes, um, performance. So memory usage at 51%. Oh, nope. Memory usage at 270 megabytes. There we go. Um, which is not bad, actually. I think it's a little better than Windows by default. This, like I said, is very much like Windows XP, which is nice. Um, let's just see how performance goes. Let's go to YouTube. Uh, let's see if we can handle video playback. Now, keep in mind, I am doing this through a uh, a virtual machine, so it's not going to be perfect. Um, and I'm also recording my screen at the same time at 4K resolution. <laughs> so my computer is definitely being very stressed right now. Um, so it's hard to really tell the performance, but it looks like... It's at least going smoothly and stuff like that. Nothing uh, too extraneous. Let's go with Steam. Let's see if that'll actually work. Uh, install Steam. Because I know that's going to be something which a lot of people are probably curious about. Okay, so it looks like the startup is working. Let's say I agree. English. Install. Run. All right, let's see, where did that uh, install go to? Maybe it didn't run. Uh, Starts. Okay, so something's slowing us down a little bit. So um, as far as the Steam install, um, so maybe it's, let me look at Task Manager, Applications, Processes. Uh, I don't see it on the Processes window. Let me try open it. We just ran through the setup. Okay, so it looks like Steam is not opening right now, which is no, like I said, no big deal. But, you know, I don't want this to be a negative video about React OS, because trust me, I think this is really cool. I think this is great that there are developers working to make Windows run on older platforms, to make it open source, and to really have, like I said, an awesome free Windows alternative. And there are many apps which are supported, and there are many apps that aren't supported. Like I said, this is a big work in progress. They're doing this all from scratch, so it is a lot of work to do. And if we go back to Application Manager, which I have open down here, you know, there are applications which we can install, and like you said, we saw web browsing worked very well, and there's a whole list of apps that do work. So guys, I highly encourage you to give React OS a try. It's really cool, really neat, and it's just something which I like to see the progress going forward and seeing how it progresses. So if you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go and hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.